Welcome to our tutorial where we'll learn how to attach the camera to objects. In this tutorial, I'm going to attach the camera to this moving ball and we'll view the motion through the viewing camera lens. First, let's right click on lights, cameras, and scene. Choose add camera and let's expand it. For the target, let's choose the end of this groove. For the camera position, let me zoom in a little bit. As you can imagine, it's easier to attach a camera to an object with multiple faces. Let's select right about here. If I don't like the selection, I can attach the camera to a different point. Here it does look like the material of the ball covers the lens itself a little bit, but that's not actually the case. The lens is only represented by this point. Let's reattach the camera back to our original position. As you see, we don't have any part of our view covered, but it'll probably happen at the end of our animation. Camera rotation, let's set it to zero degrees. The rest of the settings we'll leave as is. Let's click OK now. Now let's activate the camera view and run our animation. We click play, and we now see the view from the perspective of our moving camera. And here we are, the material of the ball covers our target here. Let's double click to show what is actually happening here. You can see why the target is covered by the material of the ball. Let's click Cancel. Next, let's expand the Mates branch. I'm going to move the time bar to the end position. By the way, instead of sliding the bar, I can simply double click on the final key point to get to the end position. Let's adjust the distance a little bit to 120 millimeters. This should be enough. It should stop right about here. Yes, it does. And now our animation works better. And this concludes our tutorial on attaching the camera to objects.